We've talked about finding diagonals and shapes. It's when you connect one vertex to another vertex. So here in this shape, I could connect this vertex here to this vertex across from it, and that would be a diagonal. I could also connect this vertex to the vertex across from it, and that would also be a diagonal. I can't connect this top vertex to this bottom vertex because that wouldn't be a diagonal. It's not going across the shape. That would just be a side, which we know that this polygon has four sides. So if I look, this square has two diagonals. Since the diagonals can connect and they're all on the inside of the shape, we would call this a convex polygon. Here I have a five-sided polygon, and I'm going to connect the diagonals. So here's this diagonal. I'm going to draw a line over here, but I can also draw a line over here. Same thing with right here. I can connect it to the middle, and then I connect it across. But if you look, I can also connect these two across. So we would call this, since it's on the outside of the polygon and we're connecting diagonals, we would call this a concave polygon. And basically what that means is that the shape shapes into the inside and so that the diagonal goes across the outside. We call this a concave polygon. Here's my star. And this is an example of a concave polygon because the sides go towards the inside of the shape. So when I go to connect a diagonal, they are on the inside, but they're also on the outside. So this would be a concave polygon. Here I have a quadrilateral polygon, and I'm going to connect the vertices to make a diagonal and it's all on the inside. So I know that this is a convex polygon. A polygon can take any shape, but we use convex and we use concave as a way to classify our polygons. So you can classify them by the number of sides they have and the number of vertices but you can also classify them on whether they're convex or concave. Keep an eye out for convex and concave polygons as we go through the lesson.